I remember the 70s, how we were treated. I remember the 80s, how we fought to survive in Southall. We had a lot of racial problems in Southall when I grew up. And what I'm finding is, or we thought at the time, that the, we will vote, bring our politicians into power, and things will be good for us. But unfortunately, when I looked at it from within the Labour Party, I found the Labour Party to be biased. They didn't like the youth, although I was in my you know, 50s or 40, end of 48 or something. They do not like young people, I call myself, to come forward with their great ideas. I ran a business. I run a business. I'm a founder of a business. So my views are different from our local politicians. I believe the local council is there to protect, to serve, and to look after our interests. And this clearly is not happening because I was involved in, in like I said, Ealing Labour. I saw when we had certain positions, I was involved in the Broadway Ward. And I found that, you know, there was wrongs and I can't work with people who are wrong. They would put names up on a board, and then the person going to collect the little chits, people were asking them, who should I vote for? And they would tell them which number to vote. And I was very ashamed of the Labour Party at that stage, because they're not going to let decent, good, hard-working people to come forward because they're very cosy in their seats. And this, you ought to remember, is a power game. Yep. The person sitting on the seat makes the decisions. People looking into it or working hard from the outside, well, they've got a lovely word for us. The beautiful word they use for us is we're troublemakers. I'm not a troublemaker. I work very hard. I look after my family and I really got upset in late 2015 when the gas works work started on the rear of my house. In 2016 they damaged my house, they damaged other residents' houses. We called Berkeley Group over. A certain gentleman, his name is Jack Singira, who's working for Berkeley Group, started telling us some nonsense and I'll explain one line which he said to us. He said, there is certainly damage to your properties, but we're not the people who've caused that damage. So maybe it's just happening because your properties are old. And that's when I realized that I have no faith or trust in that certain person and Berkeley Group itself. Then I joined an organization called Clean Air for South and Hayes, for which I'm a chairperson, and Angela Ponto, who's sitting with you, and then I found how biased our local politicians are to the local residents. They would come up with words like, you know, they're troublemakers. They would send people out to talk to the local residents and say, oh, don't worry about them. They're nobody. Well, that's why we had to start our own party. And that's what we've achieved. We've done. They thought it was a joke that Joe Bangu is just saying this and he will not go forward with it. Well, we're here, and we're sitting on the table. And the reason why we're sitting on the table is because what we've been saying for the last seven years is, I can guarantee you, brothers and sisters, it's 101% true. I have no reason to lie. Like I said before, I work for my money. I don't put my hand out to developers, to the council, or to our local politicians. They tried sending a state agent to my house, because the, remember, the work is being done at the rear of my house, so my garden is facing the new flats. They sent, sent a state agent. I phoned one estate agent, I was upset, came back upset from work, and I picked this card. All I had to say was I live on Beaconsfield Road. He knew my name. <laughs> I received 30 to 40 calls a day from my customers. I don't know which customer it is till I don't ask who am I speaking to. As Soon as I said Beaconsfield Road, he said, Mr. Bangu, good afternoon. 
How are you? I said, it's actually evening. He said, good evening. I dropped a card to your house. Thank you for calling me. We have people looking for properties in your street, in your road. And I listened to him. And I said, well, my house is damaged. I've got cracks in my house on the plaster work. And he said, don't worry, Mr. Mangle. No survey will be done. We've got cash buyers. That's when I clicked and I realized what's going on. They are actually trying to chase me out of Southport. So I said to him, I said, thank you very much for your time. The house is not for sale, and I am certainly not for sale. And thereafter, I started receiving death threats to my life, which is, I'm sorry, which is reported mm -hmm. to the Metropolitan Police. Yes, yes, yes. All I'm asking for, all I'm asking for is we deserve better. Yeah. So why would they threaten to kill me? Why? Why would I get a death threat? So I should not be protecting my family, my wife, my daughters? Is this the dirty politics that Labour is playing in Southall? Yeah. They're trying to scare me not to stand. That's, that's, my, that's my right. I have every right to stand for my family, stand for my neighbours, stand for my friends. Mm -hmm. But yet, I receive threats. This is not politics. This is the mafia. In South, all politics is nasty business. Our sisters have just been told, and after I explain to you what I'm, where I'm getting to, I was me who stood up in the Labour Party. I stood up. I was the only person in the Labour Party who stood up. And I said to Mr. Sharma, to our local politicians, I said, why is it that everybody here is Indian? All the councillors in Southall are Indian. Have you looked around of the population of Southall? What's going on here? Is this a private club? that one councillor leaves or he passes away and another one takes his place? This is not democracy. You're controlling our democracy because you don't want the good people of Southall to come forward. I live in, I live in Southall. I care about Southall. I will not run away from Southall. And people, on, people always ask me, my daughters ask me, Daddy, why don't we leave Southall? I said, no. I want to die here. Then you can, when I'm gone, you can do what you want. But this is how bad the politics is in Southall. They have to actually threaten you to keep your mouth shut. Well, I'm not going to keep my mouth shut because I believe the local residents in Southall deserve better. And I don't mind being a voice. If people are afraid, I've had so many candidates who wanted to stand with us. And then after three, four weeks, they will just stop answering their telephones. Is it because somebody's actually phoned them? Have they received a threat? And they haven't got the guts to sit here today like I have and tell the wide world what's going on in Southall? It is absolute degrading. These people are not good people. And sisters, I'm very happy that there is change in the Labour Party. But it's people like me who stood up and spoke their minds. And that's why they're bringing in change. But the problem with the Labour Party is, when you get elected as a candidate, or a councillor, mm -hmm. or an MP, then what's going to happen is, the phone call is going to come from head office, the hierarchy of the party, saying, sit down. You can't speak like this. Mm -hmm. In every party, in council, and also in parliament, they have a thing called the whip. The meaning of the whip is that you have to abide by what the hierarchy are telling you to do. So where's your democracy? What are you standing for if you cannot speak your mind? That's why in our party, we do not have a hierarchy. Our responsibility is for the voters. The voters are the hierarchy. So if somebody knocks at my door and says, Mr. Bangu, Joe, we got this problem, 
it's my duty to stand with those people because those people voted me into power. Unfortunately, in Salvo, our voice is not going two to three miles for the last 50 years. We vote in councillors, they will not carry our voice to the town hall. And I'll explain why. London Borough Veiling, the majority of the officers in London Borough Veiling who are in charge of the departments, they are middle class. And our councillors do not carry our voice to them about the plight of Southall. I was just standing outside and there's a rat dead next to a restaurant. That is disgusting. Will that happen in Ealing? Will that happen in Oxford Street? No. Only in Southall. Because our politicians come when they need our vote. Once we vote, we write emails to our councillors. We telephone our councillors. But there's no reply. They, they don't care about us. If the Labour Party were transparent with the residents, then when we knocked on their doors, when people died with cancer on my street, I lost friends. They're dead. When we had mental illness on my street, people died. Why didn't the councillors come and stand with us? because they were too busy going around and telling the people that we're troublemakers. I'm not a troublemaker, but I will stand for what is right. And I will be happy to die doing the right thing. Thank you for your time.